My son got a yellow jacket from outside and we've been spending the night looking at that. I didn't know it was still kind of alive, but it was moving around. We could see it moving its stinger in and out. It was moving its legs. This microscope makes everything so fascinating. So the way it works is it's detachable here. It doesn't need to be on the base. You can take it out like this. So you can go outside, you can look at everything you want. It has this little plastic piece. You can take that off. And the reason you might want to do that is depending on how close you are to an object is, well, how big it's going to show. And what that means is when you are using just this part of the microscope, you're probably going to be putting things down on the plastic, it's going to be zoomed into crazy high levels. You're going to see, I, I tried a $2 bill. I couldn't make out anything on that. I tried a dime, couldn't see anything on that because it was zoomed in too far. So the reason you want the base, it does have a light on the bottom. I find that that doesn't really help with anything, but what does help is you can move this up more. So if you move it up more, then you essentially are zooming out of the object. And so you can get different levels of what you're looking at. You can take pictures or record from here. This thing is so much fun. This was sent to me so I can make this video. Let me show you what you get and how to navigate the menu. This is everything that comes with the microscope. So you've got your main microscope here, press and hold to turn it on. And it has some LEDs to light up whatever you want to have a look at. And then you can adjust the focusing here. Oh man, that zooms in quite a bit. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Look at everything else you get with this. If you want to record things directly, it does come with an eight gig TF card. You can insert that in the side here. You can also plug in a USB cable here to charge the battery. The batteries here are for the base of the microscope, which you don't have to use, but you can. You put the batteries in here, and the reason that you would want the batteries is just for the LED light. Now that the batteries are in, we can twist the knob. The knob is not very sensitive. It's uh, basically off or on. It also has a slot here, which I presume is for these slides. Let's go ahead and put those in here. It looks like they all fit, but one. Interesting. The microscope just goes and snaps into where those grooves are. And then if you want to raise it or lower it, you can do that. Let's go ahead and put this chrysanthemum petal in. So we turn on the microscope here, turn on the LED underneath. That should give us plenty of lighting. And then we will go down. You just twist to focus. And there you go. You've got the leaf. So let's take a look at some of these options. We can zoom in or out. Let's see if we can get this a little bit more centered. This is going to be tricky. Oh, wrong way. There we go. So we got it in the center, got it focused. Uh, we can zoom in digitally up to five times. You can see we got a photo icon. If we press the check mark, it's just going to take a picture. And then we can switch between photo or a video. So now I am taking a video of the leaf and press that to stop. Press and hold the menu button to get to the menu. So we can view the video that we just watched. So we can come in here and then we've got the video. We press the check mark to watch the video. Not super exciting, but we can delete it from here. We can also choose the image or video resolution that we want to go with. So by default, it's already at the highest for the image and for the video. You can also do a date tag and language settings. Auto power off is set to off, but I want to set it to three minutes in case I forget to turn it off. And you also have a screensaver. I'm going to leave that off. It also comes with this USB cable if you want to plug it in to your computer and view it on your computer. When it's plugged into the computer, you can do memory. So it's just going to read from the SD card. You can use it kind of like a webcam or a camera, or you could just charge the device. But what we want to do is do PC camera. So now let's go ahead and open up the camera app on our computer. All right, by default, it opens opens up my webcam. Let's just cycle through until, oh, there we go. Digital microscope. Let's maximize this. Let's see how long it takes you to guess what this is. Well, this is a dime, but it is zoomed in so far. That's crazy. Let's try something else. All right. Any guesses as to what this is? This is a $2 bill. See if you can see T E N 
Are there any secret hidden messages that are microscopic? I should mention you can also download some software to use with this, but honestly, this screen is big enough that it works really well. The zoom on the screen, it's just a digital zoom, so you're not getting any extra image quality. You're just kind of zooming in digitally to what you're looking at. But I think what I like the most about this is every time I get this out, I can just tell my kids, hey, go outside, go find something that you think would be cool to look at. And they come back with cool things. My my son found a small teeny bug, so he kind of smashed it so it wouldn't move around. But it was still alive. You can kind of see the antenna moving around. We've looked at fabrics, leaves. I found a moth that died. You can zoom in on the eyes and you can kind of see how the eyes are just amazing on insects. And honestly, the most fun, I think, was just looking at that wasp and watching it move around just a little bit and just seeing everything up close. It's, it, it's fun. It's fascinating. I don't really know what else to say about this microscope other than every time I get it out, we just have a blast.